Hidden deep in the heart of Africa along the roaring Kalambo River at the northern edge of Zambia, archaeologists have uncovered a discovery so astonishing it may rewrite the story of human ingenuity. Buried beneath layers of sediment at Kalambo Falls, two massive tree trunks were found, not haphazardly deposited by nature, but carefully shaped and interlocked. A deliberate notch had been carved into one of the logs, its ends tapered to sit perfectly atop another. This wasn't an accident of erosion or decay. It was a structure, crafted, cut, scraped, and assembled by the hands of a human ancestor nearly 476,000 years ago. That's not just older than the pyramids. It predates Gobekli Tepe, it even predates Homo sapiens. What lies beneath Kalambo Falls points to a lineage of intelligent builders who lived long before us. A species capable of foresight, engineering, and transforming their environment with purpose and precision. The discovery site lies near the border with Tanzania, at a location long known to archaeologists. Excavations there date back to the 1950s, and had previously revealed a treasure trove of stone tools, pollen, and ancient wood fragments. But none of that came close to what was unearthed in 2019. Preserved under the basin's elevated water table and deprived of oxygen, conditions ideal for organic preservation, researchers found not just one, but five wooden artifacts. Among them, a digging stick, a tapered shaft, a wedge, and the two interlocked logs. Through advanced luminescence dating of surrounding sediment, the logs were dated to nearly half a million years ago, making them the oldest known wooden structure in the archaeological record. Three chronological clusters of woodworking have now been documented at Kalambo Falls. The first, from 324,000 years ago, included a cut log and a tapered piece. The second, from 390,000 years ago, revealed a digging stick. But the crown jewel, dated to 476,000 years, was the notched timber construction. These were not randomly carved branches or accidental breakages. They were worked with stone tools shaped for mechanical fit and stability. These logs tell a story of planning, craftsmanship, and the dawn of architecture. To uncover the full extent of this technological sophistication, researchers employed 3D scanning, underwater photography, and experimental archaeology. At labs in Liverpool, they digitally reconstructed the wood and identified dozens of precise scrape and cut marks made by stone tools. Then, using the same raw materials found at Colombo Falls, they recreated the tools and repeated the process. Cutting into modern wood, replicating each motion, each groove. The result? The experimental marks match those found on the ancient logs almost exactly. Even more remarkably, microscopic analysis revealed that the wood had begun to fossilize. Over hundreds of thousands of years, silica-rich water had permeated the fibers, replacing organic material with mineral deposits. This process, known as partial fossilization, gave the wood enough resilience to endure the ages and retain its fine tool marks. So what was this structure? The logs, one notched and interlocked atop the other, formed a stable, flat framework. It might not resemble a hut or a cabin, but it was undeniably intentional. The notch kept the log from slipping sideways. Had there been a second notch, it would have secured it in both directions, forward and back. That's not just structural competence, it's engineering. To help conceptualize it, researchers compared the design to Lincoln logs, those interlocking wooden toys used to build cabins. It's not that early humans were playing with toys, but the principle remains. Notching creates stability, and stability allows for platforms, walkways, foundations. These were the early seeds of architecture. This discovery radically challenges the mainstream image of early hominins as rudimentary, nomadic foragers. Instead, we see ancestors who could shape timber, construct platforms, and maybe even lay the groundwork for shelter. They understood spatial organization, balance, environmental manipulation. In a word, they were building, not just tools, but space. They weren't merely surviving, they were shaping their world. And Kalambo is not alone. Across the world, evidence is mounting that ancient humans had a deeper grasp of design and structure than we ever imagined. At Terra Amata in southern France, around 380,000 years ago, early humans built huts using saplings arranged in oval shapes, tied at the top, with stone weights securing the base. Inside, they maintained hearths, used red ochre for symbolic expression, and exhibited right-handedness, a sign of brain specialization. At Schoningen in Germany, 400,000-year-old wooden spears have been found, carefully balanced and sharpened, engineered for hunting at a distance. In Japan, a 500,000-year-old site contains post holes arranged in two pentagonal shapes, likely remnants of huts built by Homo erectus. 
These sites weren't random campsites, they were organized, inhabited spaces. Places of return, places of memory. Back at Colombo Falls, the implications are profound. This wasn't just woodworking, it was world shaping. The interlocked logs represent a moment in deep prehistory when the natural environment ceased to be something merely endured and became something transformed. These early humans, whoever they were, had already crossed a mental threshold. They imagined, they engineered, they built. This isn't just the oldest wooden structure, it may be the oldest evidence of human imagination made physical. Colombo Falls is more than an archaeological site, it is the birthplace of the builder's mind. Thank you for watching. If you found this journey as fascinating as we did, subscribe to Ancient Epochs for more.